In this video tutorial, we're going to show how to create a class in Google Classroom and add students. Now, if you're an employee of Sand Springs Public Schools and you're watching this video and you're hoping to sync your Google Classroom course with your Wingage gradebook, make sure to follow the video instructions at this link instead. If you aren't planning to sync with Wingage, then all you have to do to get started with Google Classroom is go to classroom.google.com as I am here and you'll notice at the top of the page you have a plus sign in the banner at the top. If you click the plus sign you should see join class or create class. If you don't see create class you'll want to contact your Google administrator to make sure that you're added to the teacher list. If you see create class go ahead and click it and you'll be asked to enter some basic information about your course. At this point, the only thing that's really required is your class name. And then if you add a section or subject, then you can tie it to a first period, for instance. So I'm going to go ahead and put first period. And let's say I'm teaching U.S. history. From there, you just click create. So it's going to create my course with that title, section, and subject and it will appear in my dashboard as you see here but it will automatically open it so here we are and you'll notice at the top of the screen we have three menus now this has changed from the way it was previously so that's one of the reasons that we're updating the videos for this course if you look at the top you have stream classwork and people now for this video we're primarily concerned with people so if I click on the people tab you'll see this is the place where teachers are listed as well as students now I have a choice here I can either click the invite students button and then type in the email addresses and names of the students that I want to add to my course which if you're a secondary teacher and you have multiple sections this could take a long time or I can ask my students to use the plus sign at the top of their classroom and use this code so let's say that we're going to opt for that option. All your students need to do is from the dashboard click the plus sign and click join class. They will be asked to enter your class code. Now if you're doing this during class with your students in the room and they've got their Chromebooks open, all you have to do is go to the gear at the top and you'll see your class code in there as well. This is your class settings menu. So from here I can click the drop down next to the code and click display and it shows the code really large on the board so that students can see it and enter it easily into the join class option. Once they enter that code and they're accepted into your class then we can close this and close our class settings and they will appear in the people list. The other thing that you can do with the people list is add a co-teacher. At the top where it says teachers, you'll see your name listed. And if you click the invite teachers option, you can add a para that's teaching with you, or maybe you're co-teaching the course with another teacher, or maybe you have a special ed teacher that might be working alongside you uh, in a mainstream class. So you can enter the email address of that teacher and they should see in their Google Classroom dashboard an invite to join your class. Beyond the people menu, you also have classwork and stream. In other videos in this course, you're going to see how we can add assignments into your Google Classroom. And then we'll also talk about how to add announcements to the stream. So if you have questions about those, make sure to see those videos later on in the course, or you can reference them here on my YouTube channel. If you have questions about creating your class or adding your classes, please feel free to let me know. If you plan to use the Wingage Sync, don't forget to watch the Wingage video available in this course.